welcome to TNT Barbed Wire, of course brought to you by TNT Extreme Wrestling. And as always, I'm your host, Simon Hill. And once again, we have a packed episode lined up for you. We'll be showing you the highlights from an incredible night at the Hangar 34 in Liverpool, where we hosted Merseyside Massacre. Highlights will include the Medusa Complex taking on the She-Wolves, Lizzie Evo challenging Casey Owens for the TNT Women's title, a triple threat match for a chance to enter the Ultra X division at Project X. One of the most physical tag team matches we've ever witnessed here at TNT as the Kings of the North continue to roll out their open challenge. And the main event, David Starr would be defending his TNT Championship against the King Eddie Kingston in what would be what I consider a five star match. We have plenty of interviews from Merseyside Massacre including a very emotional Eddie Kingston First up though, let's get started with our Extreme VIP match, which would see the returning Angel Hayes go up against Gia Adams, who is making her debut here at TNT. And this would be a night to remember for both. to pick up the win, despite the crowd firmly on her side throughout the entire match. I also caught up with debutant Gia Adams, who seems like she also has something to prove here at TNT Extreme Wrestling. Uh, Gia, you managed to pick up the win there. What was the turning point for you? Do you just see what happened? I totally had control from the beginning of that match. There's no turning point. As soon as I go out there, it's like that from the beginning. So, with that in mind, obviously Angel Hayes came out last time she came here. You know, she got attacked by the She Wolves. She came today to you a debut appearance from yourself here at TNT Extreme Wrestling. Are we going to see more of you here at TNT Extreme Wrestling? You're definitely going to see more of me. And every time I'm going to leave that ring the same way that I just did then. Well, there you go. Gia Adams is intent on keeping the reputation here at TNT Extreme Wrestling. Next up, we saw a show stealer of a match. You may remember that on the first episode of TNT Barbed Wire, I spoke to the Kings of the North, who would set an open challenge to anyone that wishes to step up and challenge for the TNT Tag Team Champions. Here is a little reminder. You know, there's no more people who can't make it. Literally, whoever gets here, walks through that door, puts on their gear, gets through that curtain first, they get a shot at, the t at these TNT tag titles, that's where it's working. With that in mind, they would issue the open challenge once again at Merseyside Massacre, which was answered in bizarre fashion. Take a look. That was 
one hell of a match and more than hype gave it their all. They turned up and showcased why they will be a force to be reckoned with in 2020. As you can imagine, the Kings of the North and the self-proclaimed dropkick King Adam Maxted put on a breathtaking performance and were more than happy with the results. I managed to have a chat with all three of them after the match to talk about what's next for their open challenge. So we're at TNT Extreme Wrestling, it's Merseyside Massacre joined by the Kings of the North who had a special guest to bring out with them after a challenge for more than hype. Guys, I mean, that was a weird situation to find yourself in, but the last time we spoke, you issued an open challenge and that got answered tonight. Yeah, it's a little bit easy. We have thought of everything and everyone. Just because we're scum doesn't mean we're not smart. So we thought, what would we do given this situation? And given this situation, we would take advantage of the fact that really, there are no rules or stipulations to us. It is an open challenge, but make no mistake about it, the North always has backup, and there's no bigger, no better backup than big Adam Flex Max there here. And pretty soon, your boys are going to be holding all the gold in TNT and any other promotion that we see fit. Next time, open challenge, bring who you want. Bring two, bring three, bring ten, bring women, bring anybody, bring death matches, bring cage matches, bring whatever you want to bring to the Kings of the North. It's an open challenge and we don't back down, you just get death. It's this simple. You either bend the knee or we take your knees. <laughs> Well there you go, Kings of the North happy with their win right. and joined by, of all people, Adam Maxted. What a match and Kings of the North are going to be back very soon. I really enjoy interviewing those guys every time. I'm definitely looking forward to finding out who their next Open Challengers will be. Commiserations to more than hype, we were in no mood for a friendly conversation. Uh, guys, you answered the open challenge and you turned up and you gave it your all. Very close to coming to being crowned new TNT Extreme Wrestling Tag Team Champions as well. That was very patronising. Yeah, why is oh, that you, you gave it your all. Just say it like that. You gave it their all. I mean, well, they're cheaters. We, how are we to know they had Adam Max in the back? We had a plan, we had a foolproof plan. Handy cam match. Three, hand cam match. Obviously, we were wrong. Look, what they when, did was unfair. It was unfair that they did that to us. When does the team. With two people, ever been a team with three people? When have you ever seen that in your life, man? Huh? 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 Do you know what, though? To be... Whatever, like, you know, obviously you're angry. To be fair, there's not a lot of teams that I think we look at with respect to our team to people. <coughs> we wrestle the Kings of North all over Europe. And look, we didn't go our way. And yeah, true, you know, having Adam X in the back. The only was really fair, but cheers. We have to give the Kings of North a gym there. One of the best teams in Europe. But, you know, they're still cheap, but whatever. They, they are one of the best tag teams in Europe, and you guys. No, we are, and we're the best trio in Europe. And, and, and you're obviously the best trio in Europe. Obviously. Well, what comes next for more than hype? You weren't successful this time, so. Well, like. You just said all. Well, hang on, so. We weren't successful because of the reason we just gave you. They cheated, we weren't prepared. That's fair. Out of the way. And you just said it yourself, we're going to continue to be the best trio in not just Europe, but in the world. We're going to travel here, there, everywhere. Winning gold, winning matches, becoming stars. Does that answer your question? That answers my question. It does. And you're also back at TNT yourself quite, uh, well, in, in two weeks. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm back here on March 5th for Project. No, 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 Still haven't been pinned in TNT and I still haven't been tapped out. So what do you think is going to happen to Project X? Well, hopefully you'll... Start around the microphone. So what do you think is going to happen? No. Well, there you go. More than hype. Maybe a little... Perplexed at the results, maybe a little perplexed at the fact that the Kings of the North had backup, but I'm sure we'll see more of them this year at TNT Extreme Wrestling. Our next match was all about a tense rivalry which has built up over the last few months, and of course, the She Wolves would be looking to raise hell once again on the Medusa Complex, both Miller McKenzie and Charlie Evans. The beginning of the match didn't quite go to plan for the Medusa Complex 
as we would see Charlie Evans segregated from her partner Millie McKenzie for the majority of the match. Take a look. <laughs> Medusa Complex there, overcoming so much in that match, including the return of Lana Austin for the She-Wolves. You have to hand it to Millie McKenzie though, she went to war to help her partner. I caught up with a very frustrated Medusa Complex after the match, who would voice their feelings on the She-Wolves. Uh, ladies, you went through an intense battle, more so yourself Millie, uh, with the She-Wolves. Um, and it was, it was a tough climb for you guys, but eventually you managed to get the win. Yeah, um, I'm kind of fucking over the she to be completely honest with you. Like, last time they jumped to the DOA, they jumped really last time she was here, they made it really... Uh, they took me at like, my most vulnerable moment, and then tonight they thought <laughs> too, they were too cowardly to even wait till we get in the ring. Jumped from behind, and unfortunately they've injured my knee. <laughs> Fair to Millie, like, she had to do that all by herself, and she's... I mean, after all that, Millie, you are you are indeed a fighter. Yes. How do you feel? You know, you return to TNT, Extreme Wrestling, and then having to go through all of that, uh, more or less, and no offence, Charlie, on your own. Well, we are a team, so as long as she's okay. We still work, but we're it's not ideal. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think TNT got a got a fair uh, a fair thing here tonight, and I think we're just kind of be back. So the Medusa Complex have still got something to prove here at TNT Extreme Wrestling and they will be back. I have to agree with Charlie Evans there. I don't think we've seen a real representation of the Medusa Complex here at TNT. I'm sure we'll see them back very soon. How would the She-Wolves react though after their loss? Would Molly be cracking the whip on her faction or would there be a shake-up within the ranks? Merseyside Massacre with the She-Wolves after what seemed to be a brutal battle between those guys. She-Wolves clearly, uh, Molly very upset right there. Uh, Lana, welcome back to TNT. Hi. Uh, Rio, obviously you went through quite a battle there uh, with the Medusa Complex. You know, how do you feel after your match there? Well, I think we can all speak there and, and say how upset and disbanded the She-Wolves actually look. I'll be honest and you can clearly see it on my face, I was as shocked as anyone at the apparent dysfunction and disappointment on the face of the She-Wolves after that interview and I don't think we've ever seen a time where they don't have a statement to make here at TNT. Another member of the She-Wolves would be in action though at Merseyside Massacre as Lizzie Evo would challenge for the women's title as she'd be going up against Casey Owens who would of course be looking to extend that 534 day streak as women's champion as well as restore some confidence for her fellow She-Wolves. Lizzie Evo after she managed to prize away the women's title from Katie Owens. Uh, Lizzie, how do you feel after that match? It was it was a, a brawl, not to say yeah. the least. Um, basically, to come five minutes down the road and no one really gives a fuck about you when you show your face. I think once you actually win it and you prove everyone wrong, for months I've been at it with the she wolves for months they've been fucking pissing me off, especially Lana Ross and that little rat. But I proved a point to me. I don't get spoke about all over the internet like all these other girls get wanked about. No one talks about me that way. 
That's why every time I step in that ring, I fucking prove them all wrong. Because now I am the TNT Women's Champion. No one could take the Defiant Wrestling Women's Championship from me. No one's been able to take the PCW Women's Championship away from me. Not one fucking person will try and take this away from me. Because this is TNT Wrestling in Liverpool. My fucking town. I'm the live of Bird Lizzie Evo. TNT Women's Champion. She is indeed the new Women's Champion. Lizzie Evo has had so much to prove and she's finally on the way to doing exactly that here at TNT Extreme Wrestling. There you go, Lizzie Evo, very passionate and very direct in her interview following the match with Casey Owens. And you can see how much winning that Women's Championship meant to her. Our next slice of action came in the form of a contract signing between the Challenger and DOA tournament winner, Clint Margera, who would go on and looking to take on Mikey Whiplash for the Extreme Division Championship. It's worth noting that Clint Margera would go on to tell me during our pre-show that he was looking to enter the ring, have his say, shake hands with Mikey Whiplash and wait until Supreme Extreme before any physicality would take place. as though we're seeing a new version of Clint Margera, hungrier and more determined than ever and he's not afraid to go to any place he needs to be to be that Extreme Division Champion. This match will take place at Supreme Extreme in April and you can be sure that this feud will come to a head in all eight attack for both men. Don't forget our next TNT Ignition event is just around the corner. Ignite the Fire will take place March the 15th at Fusion in Liverpool, and we have a very special guest. Evil Uno will be at Ignite the Fire and you won't want to miss him in action. But who will he be facing? Well, this is the perfect segue into what was an unannounced sporadic match for the evening. Sonna Derson turned up and would take on Big Guns Joe in a match that had everyone in attendance chanting at the top of their voice. Take a look at just some of the highlights from this solid clash. Stage with Sonna Durson after a sporadic match with Big Guns Joe. Uh, Sonna Durson, you just went through a really uh, intense physical battle with Big Guns Joe. Uh, how do you feel tonight? Well, I proved to the TNT Extreme Wrestling fan base that Sonna Durson, the TNT Ignition Champion, is no one to mess with. I went out there without even knowing who my opponent is and I picked him apart limb from limb and finished him. Not only did I finish him, but I dominated him. I could have pinned him in the middle of the mat and I thought, no, I'm gonna tap him out and prove a point to the TNT Extreme Wrestling crowd. And now I've just proven a point to my next challenger, Evil Uno. So after just learning about Evil Uno, you're going to be facing a TNT Ignition, Ignite the Fire. Last time we spoke, you said... Just, let, me, let me just cut you off there. Everyone's going on like Evil Uno is a scary, larger-than-life figure. He's a nobody. Evil Uno? Evil, I don't know. I don't know who you are, and frankly, I don't even care, because I am the Turkish Wolf. Sonna Durson and the TNT Ignition Champion. I'll see you at Ignite the Fire.
Jericho, it will be Sonna Durson who will go one on one with AEW's Evil Uno at TNT Ignition's Ignite the Fire. There are still VIP tickets remaining where you can meet Evil Uno. And just head to wrestlingtravel.org and grab them before they sell out. I would also catch up with a very sore Big Guns Joe who still has a lot more to offer here at TNT Extreme Wrestling. Big Guns Joe, I can clearly tell you're in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> yeah. um, is it wrong with me to ask how you're feeling? No, 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 at all, man. You, you're alright. Uh, uh, son of Durston, man. There's a reason why he's a ignition champion, but you know, I came here to TNT. The TNT main show, but it's, I'm asking, you know, not, not thinking anything, and I get thrown in the deep end, you know, and I'm all for it. I'm the biggest hedgest guy in British wrestling, we both know that. And, you know, the biggest thing and the hedgest thing about Big Guns Joe is, is that he never backs down from a fight. So be it TNT Extreme, be it TNT, sorry man, be it TNT Ignition, everything stays the same. Big Guns Joe goes in, he gets hench, the crowd are behind him, and nobody measures up to Big Guns Joe. Thank you, man. Oh, I'm just gonna go ice this, yeah? Thank you, man. Big Guns Joe going ice himself up there, clearly in a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, but you've got to hand it, the kid has got the biggest heart at TNT Extreme Wrestling. Our final match was one of the most visceral bouts I have ever witnessed in a wrestling ring. Eddie Kingston would challenge David Starr for the TNT Extreme Wrestling Championship in a hellacious match that would leave both men battered and bruised. The entire crowd in attendance would be at its most vocal all night, chanting for their favourite star as well as chanting for TNT. Check out the highlights from this unbelievable matchup. TNT Extreme Wrestling here now with Eddie Kingston at Merseyside Massacre after a hard hitting match for the, for the TNT World Heavyweight Championship with David Starr. Eddie, tell me how you're feeling first of all. First off, let me just say, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't have a lot of friends uh, in this business. I can name like a couple, you know, Homicide's my best friend, Low Key, the, the two LAX boys, you know, and there's associates. And uh, David saw as a friend, you know what I mean? And uh, but we, we, we went out there and um, I don't know, man. I'm kind of emotional because, uh, you know, you always, <laughs> shit. You always want to win. But especially more you want to win against a friend just so you can bust their chops and say, hey, I got you on that one. But uh, David Starr, uh, I don't know, man. He, he beat me tonight. But I, I'll be back, you know what I mean? There's no there's no doubt about that, I'll be back. But uh, it's a little emotional right now. It's just, I'm happy I got to paint with a best friend, one of my close friends out there, you know? So I got to paint a picture out there and uh, I got to show I'm not just a brawl. I, I'm just rambling. But I just wanna say thank you, TNT. Uh, thank you, Star. Uh, Eddie, it's been an absolute pleasure yeah, having you. We can't <laughs> wait to have you back. I'll, I'll be back. I'll and be we want to see all this over again. Um, yeah. You know, you've been through one of the hardest hitting battles I think we've ever had here at TNT. Oh no, I feel it. I feel it. And it certainly looks all right. But Eddie, thank you very much. Uh, TNT Extreme Wrestling, guys, make sure you're following us across social media. We're going to be back on the 5th of March with Project X. And Eddie Kingston will be back in 2020 here at TNT. You can Get be sure of that. I'm say what up? Brooklyn, stand up! Yeah! You know, I said this on Twitter the other day. Those are the moments that really capture what being a presenter and an interviewer is all about. Witnessing and sharing the passion and emotion that others put into doing what they love. Eddie Kingston gave a very emotional interview there on the respect and admiration he has for David Starr and the people that he considers friends within the business. I can't wait to see him back here at TNT and in a TNT Extreme Wrestling ring.
Our next match would be a change of pace. A fast-paced, high-flying spectacle that would have the crowd applauding throughout. TNT Extreme Wrestling would see the debut of Jordan Oliver. He would go up against Senza Volta and Scotty Davis in a triple threat match for a chance to compete at Project X on March 5th. This match had everything and then some. Here is the full match courtesy of us at TNT Bar Boy. Welcome back to TNT Extreme Wrestling, young man. The Supreme Suplex Machine, the Prodigy, returns. I can't name a man with more unbridled potential right now than this gentleman. We're about to see three of the finest cruiserweights anywhere in the world go at it for the opportunity to be a part of this tournament at Project X. Absolutely. Besides maybe the OJMO, did anybody have a better 2019 than that man right there? There are no one that comes to mind, honestly. Those two are absolute standouts. The OJMO we will see at Project X. Fresh from GCW themselves. Not exactly endearing himself. The clout cutter Jordan Oliver. Quite confident walk to the ring. The dainty saunter. The, the height on this young man. From the man that broke the internet not all that long ago. Absolutely. wearing a t-shirt sponsored by a cigarette company. Tells you everything you need to know. And this man we've been waiting quite some time to see in a TNT Extreme Wrestling ring. Welcome to TNT Extreme Wrestling, Senza. Volto! Another man who had one hell of a breakout year in 2019, looking to carry that on in 2020 and get his way into Project X. The French sensation, one of the undoubted best high flyers there is in the entirety of Europe. And that's just a taste. Don't half move well. Doesn't look like he's intimidated either of these two gentlemen. He stood opposite though. We are on the way, Sons of Alter hits the ropes. A little excitable. Maybe trying to catch them off guard. Nice. Oh, and he oh. dunks the chop. Hits the ropes, jumps down. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to try so hard to keep a curl on this one, folks. Jordan Oliver rolls through. Scotty Davis went charging into the corner. Oliver jumped over and hit him with a chop. Sends a Volta has Jordan Oliver up into the top corner. Sends a Volta went for a 619, but rolls round through. Jordan Oliver off the top gets caught looking for a cloud cutter. Sends a Volta. Counted, Scotty Davis, we know he likes a good suplex. Jordan Oliver rolled back down and gets caught, but Jordan Oliver counters it. 
kicks to Senza Volta, rolls through to Scotty Davis. Only a count of one. Senza Volta rolls through, beautiful. Oh. Scotty Davis, the count of one. And all three Jesus. men. Wow. That was fucking hard to call. You did really well. I just watched. I need a, I need a, I need a proverbial tank of oxygen calling these matches. Didn't need to say proverbial there. No, I just need a you. genuine yeah. tank of oxygen. Yeah, it would have worked. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're divided between two of the three, the Liverpool crowd. Here. Rather unsurprising given the way Jordan Oliver came out. Oh, and he gets maybe his come up and oh, slapped the chest. The back. Slapped to the back. Scotty Davis takes the head of Senza Volta, sends him off. Scotty Davis hits the ropes. Shoulder tackle, neither man moving. Senza Volta hits the floor. Scotty Davis jumps over. Senza Volta up and over again. Scotty Davis hits the ropes. There he Davis is. may be looking for a suplex, but Senza takes the hand, slapped to the chest. Signals for it. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at the agility of this man. Look at the agility of the Frenchman. And Jordan Oliver. Oh, don't spoil the party, mate. Come on. Oh, hits the second rope. Up to the top. Up to the... Oh, beautiful. Make dangerous control. And arm drag Sky Davis to the other side of the rope. Meanwhile, Jordan Oliver... Oh, up oh, and over, wow. beautiful from Senza Volta, kick to the leg, misses with a roundhouse. Jordan Oliver sends him off, Senza Davis, Senza Volta, hits oh, the ropes, wow. Hurricane Rana! Whoa! Who, who, who's Senza Davis? That's not a person. That's not a person. Senza Volta with a head of steam, up there and over, go. oh, hits the ropes, rolls through, but rolls through <laughs> right <laughs> into Scotty <laughs> Davis. Rolls around, ducks one, takes control of the race, rolls round again. Sends a vault to Scotty Davis, hits the ropes. Oh, what a clothesline! Oh. The Irishman unfazed. In comes Jordan Oliver. Scotty Davis off the rope. Ducks one over, rolls through. Oh, oh my word, wow. look at the roll through on that. Sweeps the leg to Scotty Davis, hands him up. Oh. Gator roll! Wow! Ring in the neck through, Gator roll again. The amateur background style is Scotty Davis. Beautiful Jesus. combination from Jesus. Scotty Davis. Oh, the ballet oh, kick for good over. measure. Good lord! <laughs> and he goes for a pinfall. Oh, the count of one! Are you joking? If you're struggling today, imagine how you're going to be at Project X, mate. Oh, God! Sends a Volta and Scotty Davis fighting for position on the top rope. Scotty with a forearm. Sends with a forearm back. Scotty joins him up on the second. Sends her still not having any bit. Headbutt to Davis, who drops down. And Sakuri oh. catches him flush! across the back of his head with his shin. Good Lord, what a talent that boy is. And Scotty Davis calling the shots now, sends to the ring, has commission. Oh, looking for that kick. Beautiful oh, combination wow. from Jordan Oliver. Oh, oh catches wow. Senza, as Senza was rolling back in as well. Nonchalant cover. And a count of one! A nonchalant cover, you've got a pin into the mat, mate. He must know who he's dealing with. Mind you, Jordan Oliver doesn't strike me as the kind of man who does his research. Maybe not, maybe not. However, if he wins this match, he's going to have to do research on a lot more people. And I would advise doing that for Project X, because it's a massive one. Chop in the corner from Jordan Oliver. Sends him off into the corner. Picks him up. Oh, backbreaker! Jordan Oliver definitely with a size advantage in this match. Another nonchalant cover. Another nonchalant cover. And Senza Volto kicked to the outside. And Jordan Oliver just taking his time. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with taking a moment, catch your breath, regain your composure, especially in a contest like this. But when you pin a man, you pin a man to the mat. You can't rely on your moves. You have to keep fucking... You have to work on your technique as well, and at the minute, I know he's got the technical ability to do it, but it's, it's well, an attitude. Well, at the moment, there's nothing technical about those strikes from Scotty Davis. Measured shots to the strike, hits the handspring, looking for that lariat, gets caught. Uranagi from Jordan Oliver, who rolls through, up and over, vaults in body press, oh, wow. sends a vault to court him. What on earth is happening there? And Scotty Davis, Scotty Davis sees the opportunity. Scotty Davis! 
up and over to the top rope. And oh, oh. moonsault from the apron. All three men down. Full sends of my thought he got away with one there. Scotty Davis having other ideas. And now sends a Volta being rolled in, and Scotty Davis is going to roll both men back into the ring. Interesting tactic. Honest, as hard working as he is. And Scotty Davis, oh, has. Oof! Shoulder tackle in again on the ropes. Backing them up. Smart tag in this kind of match. Great power from Scotty Take Davis. The wind out. Oh, Jordan Oliver not. pushes him back and drops oh. him down with the double knees. And oh. Cloud Cutter! Cloud Cutter from Jordan Oliver! Sets him up. Power bomb sits out center of the ring. No! Oh. This match continues. That was a better cover. Jesus, I thought he had him there. Very convincing from Jordan Oliver. And now Jordan Oliver moving Sons of Alter up to the top. Oh, there's a chop across the chest. Well, the disrespect to Greenwood there. Wouldn't be having any of that. But Jordan Oliver. Setting Sons of Volta up maybe for a superplex. But Volto. Doing what he can to kick. Scotty. Scotty. Oh, no Scotty. Way. Scotty. Oh! oh my God. Super German superplex. Are you kidding me? Who the fuck can capitalize off that? Scotty Davis has got to get to his feet. Is he gonna go for a cover? He's got to, he's crawling. He's gotta get his composure. No, he's smart, he knows the moment's gone. He knows he was in too much pain to capitalize. And now, all three men trying to vie and get back to their feet. Strike from Volto. Strike from Davis. Come on, Strike again from Davis. Strike from Oliver. Chop from Senza. Forearm from Davis. Forearm from Davis. Forearm from Davis. He's going all in now. Building ahead of steam. But there's one from Senza Volto. Scott Davis Whoa. hits the post mortem on both men. Managing only to get. Oh, oh no. another with the roll through. No, Scotty Davis. Oh! Reverses it with a roll through. And, and he's still on. under again. Oh, wow. What a Unbelievable. deadlift. Unbelievable. Surely. Two. Oh, oh Senza Volta oh, breaks wow. it up. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness, Scotty Davis. It's enough. Scotty couldn't have done much more there. Oh, my days. Now sends a Volto and Scotty Davis in the ring. Calling for the Eiffel Tower, but Scotty Davis having none of it. Oh, oh. look at the disrespect from Senza. An opportunity to go to Project X on the line. Oh, what a slap from Senza Volta. You do not do that to Scotty Davis. Missed with a super kick, hits him on the knee. Oh, what a knee strike from Senza Volto. In comes Jordan Oliver, up and out he goes. Super oh, kick! Wow. Goodness gracious me! 619 Into to the back the of his ring. head, up and over he goes, using the ropes to stop his momentum and bring all of the shoulder weight down across the chest of Jordan Oliver. Senza Volta moving out the way. Scotty Davis gets the foot up. Enzo oh. Curry in the corner from Senza Volta, sweeps the leg out from underneath him. Jordan Oliver sends. Into the corner, catches Scotty Davis. Oh, oh no, cool oh, red from Senza Volta. One, two. two, no, rolls through with Jordan Oliver. Oh, wow. Into the corner, What's Scotty Davis here? rolls through. Oh, oh my God! Oh. 
Sunset oh. Flip into a Canadian oh Destroyer. Sets him up. Eiffel oh. Tower. Oh. One, One, two, two three. three. Sons of Alters. Wow. Wow. Project X. Jesus. What a contest! What a what? debut! What a match! From all of these... Oh, hello! Huh? What on earth is this? What... What the... Surely not! Either, either my eyes are being deceived or I'm blinded! No! Ryan, smile! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you... This crowd is stunned! I'm stunned! It's him! It's Ryan fucking smile! Oh! Oh my days! What on earth is happening? Ryan Smile has not been in a wrestling ring for well over a year. Oh! oh my days! And that is how he makes his return. Oh! oh Holy days. fuck! Ryan Smile has returned. Over a year. One of the perennial talents of this industry. Fuck. Oh, wow. Hell. What has just happened at Merseyside Massacre? What the f Did you even see him backstage? I saw. Where what? the fuck is he coming from? Haven't, I haven't seen him in two years, mate. Ryan Smile walked away from wrestling well over a year ago. And here he is making a statement ahead of Project Fucking X. What? What on earth? I guess we'll find out in the coming days, but that is absolutely insane. That's huge. I don't... That's fucking astronomical. So I'm now here at TNT Extreme Wrestling's Merseyside Massacre with Jordan Oliver after his intense triple threat match, which was high-flying action at its best. Uh, Jordan, your first time here at TNT Extreme Wrestling. How do you feel after your match? How do I fucking feel? I just lost the match, and you're asking me how I feel. In my UK debut, I just lost the match. And I'll tell you what, everyone knows I'm young, dumb, and broke. Tonight, I didn't make any money. Winners always get the bag. I came here to the UK to get the bag. And I didn't fulfill that opportunity, so I'm pissed to be straight up. So what's next? Obviously you're upset tonight. Are you going to come and bounce back here to TNT Extreme Wrestling? What's next for Jordan Oliver? I'd love to tell you that I'll come back in March and I'll be in the Project X, but I'm not. I'd love to tell you that I'll come for GCW, but I don't know. I don't know what's next. See, Jordan Oliver doesn't live with what's next. I don't live for tomorrow. I live for today. I'm only 20 years old and I could die right now and I wouldn't give a fuck. Because I'm young, I'm dumb, and I'm fucking broke. That's all the fucking questions for today, bud. As always, it's now time to talk about our next event, which is Project X. And you can expect some high-flying action bundled together with some insane ring action. The eight participants in the Project X tournament will be Kid Lycos 2, Mike Bailey, the OJMO, Senza Volta, LJ Cleary, Robbie X, Ace Austin, and the man that shocked the wrestling world when he showed up at Merseyside Massacre, Ryan Smile. We will also have a tag match between Kyle Fletcher and Lucky Kid as they take on two of the best luchadors in the business, 
Puma King and Taurus. Head over to WrestlingTravel.org and grab your tickets as this will be one event that you won't want to miss. We also have released some special merch for the event, which in my opinion is stunning and I'm definitely adding that to my wardrobe. That is the end of this episode. Uh, yet again, TNT Barbed Wire, we will be back next week. Make sure you follow, like and subscribe to TNT Extreme Wrestling across all of social media. You can also hit me up on Twitter at Simon H Official. Also, a big, huge thank you to Turnbooker TV, where you can get hold of Merseyside Massacre in its entirety for a very small subscription. We've also got TNT Ignition Breakout in its entirety on there now as well. A big shout out to Moonsault Media for all their amazing work. As always, I've been your host Simon Hill and until next time, keep it locked.